This is why I think, Rich, they they released the lie about Beyonce allegedly of showing up at the event last night. They wanted to boost ratings. There'd be, uh, that would be yeah. absolutely stupid if to say she's coming when you know she's not coming, mm-hmm. if, if it didn't have a real purpose, something that helped you, right? That's just, why would you say like, we almost got her and we didn't and just dis- disappoint everybody. Uh, but it does make sense if your goal is to boost the numbers because we were looking at the numbers the other day. Trump's convention didn't do as well on um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Obviously, Kamala had good ratings on Monday because it was Joe Biden. It was our sitting president, mm-hmm. and everybody wanted to see how he was and what he would say, <laughs> given the, the scandal, right? Um, and then Tuesday and Wednesday, they had big stars at their party, the Obamas. <laughs> yeah, right. The, the Obamas, Oprah, um, Bill Clinton. But I do wonder how the numbers will be for the mm-hmm. sort of apples to apples, Kamala versus Trump, right? And uh, yeah. I think the whole Beyonce's coming, she's not coming thing was a— it was an, it was a ruse to boost the ratings. Yeah, that's what do you think? That's interesting because she's going to perform at the end, and, and you have to watch the end. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. I hadn't I hadn't thought of that. But you know, it's the kind of contrivance. I don't know whether that's true or not, but it's the kind of contrivance she needs to to boost her. I mean, if you look at Obama and Trump, now these are two extraordinary political talents in their own ways and great performers. But they created movements, right, and hard fought primary battles that they slogged out and won. They created new modes of of doing politics. They they created signature issues and catchphrases, you know, whether it's the audacity of hope or build the wall that they came up with on their own. And there's just none of that with her. And even less less talented political figures, you know, Bob Dole, he got the nomination because he was a you know party stalwart for 30 or 40 years. That's that's not her. John McCain got the nomination because he was a maverick and finally won his party over uh, to his side, at least temporarily. She, she she's not like that. Bill Clinton, you know, governor of small rural state who's dismissed because he had a very bad convention speech in 1988 and then just rises to the top out of sheer talent and verbal acuity and shamelessness and and an ability to do personal politics. That's not her, right? It's just none of these things. She's she's like where she's originally from, Oakland. Like there's no there there. So they have to manufacture it. And, you know, there's 75 days or, or less left that's that's still a lot of time but it's not a whole campaign if she had had a run in a primary i don't believe she should have won would have won and then also all these weaknesses would have been exposed and litigated because it wouldn't be you know you saying it or uh, donald trump saying it. it would have been pete Buttigieg saying it if he had run against her right so the media they like pete right so they so they would have reported it they would have at least reported the dispute and none of that has happened she's just uh you know she's like a, athena from the head of uh, emerging from the head of zeus you know just this insta nominee with this insta supposedly a uh, movement and this insta joy what did you call her on national review uh, um rich was it a thin wafer yeah wafer thin she's a wafer yeah, thin, wa- thin candidate she's i mean normally most women aspire to that but not in the way you're using it here um, <laughs> <laughs> so just a note on the beyonce nonsense they said that there was a, a there's a hole in the schedule it's going to be beyonce she's going to come and um katie fang over at msnbc absolutely humiliated herself with these moment to moment updates on like, she's, she's been spotted, you know, we've seen her. Um, let me see. Oh yeah. I don't have the actual ones in front of me because she just deleted them. She's now deleted her tweets out of humiliation, but they continue to update. Okay. Here we have it in our screen grabs. It was like, she's coming here. She's hearing she's coming, hearing the special guest is Beyonce. And then she, well, after the point that um, who was it that broke the Hollywood reporter had an exclusive. She's not coming. We reached out to her reps. They said, she's not coming. She's never been coming. There was never a schedule for her to come or an agreement for her to come. Just stop. After that, Katie Fang tweets out, I'm hearing that Beyonce has arrived. She's here. <laughs> <laughs> All I could think was, <laughs> first of all, Steve Krakauer, our executive producer, who's a very measured guy. He just forwarded it to us with with the word Katie. <laughs> Katie. <laughs> All I could think is like the girl at the high school prom, like, hey, he's still coming. He, he'll be here. <laughs> I see a headlight. No, she's not coming. And they were so, you know, they needed to believe, and they certainly needed to believe that it hadn't been a ruse. And now after the fact, they're trying to tell us that this big surprise guest was a videotaped piece, videotaped, I say, from Steph Curry, 
the basketball player saying, I'm for Kamala. Like that, that what, I, it's just we're lied to around every turn. Some Americans enjoy using their credit cards because it can be a hassle-free way to pay, not to mention a secure one. But our sponsor, the American Payments Coalition, says that some D.C. politicians want to change that with the Durbin Marshall credit card bill. They say the bill lets corporate megastores pick how your credit card is processed, allowing them to use untested payment networks that could jeopardize your data security and your rewards. They say corporate megastores will make more money. And guess who will wind up paying the price? You. Find out more info at guardyourcard.com. And consider telling Congress to guard your card while you're there, too. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.